Hey, it's Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's April 17th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and a uh, pretty good day today. It was all downhill for the most part. Um, we had this really strong sell-off. You had to be a little patient this morning, even though there's a nice move up and then a really nice move down. There weren't, there just weren't a lot of good setups to get into it so uh once we got down here a little later in the morning uh, lots of shorts all the way down through here so um but it was a little slow this morning you you know you just had to go with the trend and take a chance and i marked a couple of them green but I, i'm just not crazy about entering once you start to get this far away from the ema even with a trend line uh, it's just not a smart place to move to enter you know same thing here once past here, even though these are all probably legitimate setups on a strong trend, you're taking a chance till you come back to that EMA, and here's the first time you really come back and get another setup. So, um, I mean, they're great. They're pretty good signal bars on every one of them, but I just think they're a little risky, so I didn't mark a lot of them. Um, you know, if it's doing this all day long, that's one thing, but for it to be this straight up and then this straight down, you know, you don't know if it's not going to be a range day in here as well so once you hit this support area it could bounce but we went right on through and then it was pretty obvious uh, once you once you get a, a move down this strong even though you got a nice little bounce here you can almost guarantee you're going to get a retest of the low here and you're probably going to get a flatter channel or something and, and try to make another leg down that's generally what happens we didn't come close this was a really strong down leg here there there wasn't really any major news items or anything. There were a couple of news items around 7.30 this morning. There was some crude, maybe a crude oil report or something. And crude oil can sometimes have an effect. I didn't look at the crude market to see what it did, but it's possible that it might have had an effect on the market going down. My guess is we're just at that, you know, we just passed that 2,900. Look where we closed, right at 2,900. That's generally what will happen when you hit these century marks, like the 27, 28, 2,900 areas. Prices will come through, and they'll come back and, and test it on both sides multiple times before they'll either back off some or continue marching higher, you know. So uh, be prepared for that anytime you hit, a, hit those uh, century marks. So, I mean, we're getting back up here to – historic type highs again so um the correction is probably past you know probably past due for a, a nice correction so uh, anyway let me back out we'll talk about the trades and uh there's a few of them today so i'm gonna get started on them again you had to be patient uh, seven o'clock came in this move up here and you've just been so far away from the ema uh you're not gonna get i mean when you get a little trend this tight you're not going to get any second entries most likely it's going to be it's going to be doubtful and even if you do it's going to be you're going to be going long right into the highs so if, if it comes back to the trend line and you get a good signal bar like right here you may you may take it if you don't you're probably not going to get a trade same thing on the way down uh, when you get a trend this you know this moving like this and this this tight and this strong i mean that's a strong trend up and then a very strong trend down this doesn't look real strong um when you just look at the bars but that's the way you know when you see lots of little bars and dojis and stems and it, they just keep going lower and lower and you don't have very big corrections the corrections are very uh shallow like here notice how those corrections only tick back a few ticks or so before it moves higher again same thing coming down you only just get real small once you see that you know it's a strong trend and um you just about have to trade it so uh if it comes back to a key entry point if you don't take it you may not get a trade so back out a little more here um, but yeah seven o'clock came we're moving up we pulled back um, that's really the first correction after seven o'clock you know it's maybe a tick one tick back and then it bounces right off the trend line um, like i said it's it's risky and but you may want to take it and then notice how we get this big sell-off bar right at the open. Um, and you know you're going to have opening up here with a close here yesterday. That's the that's your gap on the daily. And notice we came straight down, filled it almost to the tick, and then bounced. And then we uh, we ended up going lower. But uh, it's funny how that 
you know, the market will fill those gaps pretty quickly and it filled it really quickly today. So, um, within, well, we opened at eight 30. We'll by eight 50, probably I would say there, we had that, we'd filled that gap. So 20, uh, 20 minutes at tops, something like that. But uh, then we started working down. Notice there's a move down, then a correction, then another move down. So that's like a failed second entry long. So you may take that one. Plus, there's a shorter term trend line. You may not be able to see that really well there. The lighter line, I made it lighter. It's just working down, and it's real tight, just like the one going up. And so and we bounce, we've got it and the midline of this other channel. Of course, you may not have had that other channel yet. You, you might have considered the trend right here off these. But you probably wouldn't have had this side. Um, well, you could have had it because this, you know, you can see that you could have drawn it right there and drug it up and saw that it would have fit. So you may have had it in place, but it's doubtful. You probably just would have been playing this tight, this this uh, original sh uh, shorter term, tighter channel. And um, it's like a failed second entry long. So you may take that one. Uh, you get a little, it comes back and test it and continues to go lower here. But with those three bar matching lows, I doubt I'm going to take that one. Uh, it comes back again right there. And at this point, it looks like a really strong trend. Um, but you've just been away from the EMA for so long. This one is a possibility. Notice that you, you moved up, came down, moved up, and then turned down again. So that's a hidden second entry right there. So that's one you may... You may, and it is right off the midline on what is a very steep channel. So that's one you may take a chance on. But it's not going to be long before we come back at least to this major, to the main trend line and probably the EMA. And we get it right here. And that's your first real solid correction that, you know, had more than a bar or two in it and gives you a nice little setup bar. I like that one. So even if you waited for this one, if you took this one trade, you got a runner and you can ride this all the way down. So um, again, you come back right here. This is true. Your true signal bar. It's too bullish moving down. And then first entry and you tried to go higher. It's actually broke higher and turned and went down. So there's a second entry short right there. I like that When You actually get a third failure right here, but with that double bottom, I'm not crazy about it. Uh, so I think you got to skip that one. Uh, I hate this thing starts all of a sudden I get all these pop-ups. I'm going to have to look at that. Um, then, of course, you, now we get a bounce. This is your first break of a very strong, solid trend down. It's very obvious. So we, the, the odds are we're going to get a retest of this low. So you just wait for a reversal type pattern or something. Notice we got a channel working up. You get an overshoot here, and then you get a first entry, and then you get a second entry right at the – EMA and it fails. That's a fairly bullish bar right there. I like going short right there. There's a lower high right here, but your signal bar is not very good. Uh, makes a new low, then a first entry, second entry, and it, it does really confirm that trend line. But look at that signal bar. Way too bullish. Wait on a lower high, which comes right here. And again, it breaks higher. It never breaks out the low side, but I still like going. And that's a pr fairly neutral bar. But notice you got two legs down, and, and that's that's like a hidden second entry right there. So I treated that like a failure. And you got to assume we're going to the lower side, and this is this looks like your bid line. So I like that one. That one's close. You could almost argue for it to be green, but I still like it because there's because there's two legs down, and it's like a little hidden second entry. And then we bounce right off the lows first entry. And notice you get a break there, and you move up, and you get a second entry. Um, those bars have matching highs, so you can use that for your signal bar. And you're just so far away from the EMA, and we moved right through the midline and didn't come back and test it. And so you got to expect prices to come back to the midline there and uh, at a minimum. But this thing just takes back off again. This one is really tempting. When you made that low and then ticked a little bit lower and everything's still holding inside that channel and you're this far away. That's one that you might, you know, to, if you want to be a little risky and get some reward for it, you might try that one. Uh, you're better off to wait on 
you're better off to stick to your shorts or being knowing that we just came off the bottom and hadn't been back to the high yet there's a good chance we're at least coming back to this midline and and if we get through there we're probably coming back to here so uh, notice how it pushes through it tests that midline once test it twice same thing tests the ema twice bounces right off that key entry point on a second entry long there's a new high first entry second entry so even though this is somewhat of a counter trend trade i like it um, notice how prices are swinging above and below the ema and you're getting trends in both directions even though the overall trends down this still has a range type feel and range type action so you you can trade this both ways even though you don't see a lot of longs here and most of them that i do mark are green um, you know, if you want to, if you want to trade it both ways, you can, if you want to be a little aggressive with these, I mean, this one's real close to being, you could argue for that to be blue runs on up and you just don't get a real short here, too bullish of a signal bar. You got a bearish bar here, but it's inside. You need to wait on a second entry and then notice you make a low first entry and then second entry. And now you get a nice bearish bar. That's where you want. And you get a runner on this too. Then you make another low first entry and you get a little higher low right there. This is uh, technically, even though it didn't break higher, it's technically a second entry short. And off it goes again. And then we run up. And this is another kind of a hidden couple of moves here. Notice we didn't quite get to the low. So when you get that big bearish bar right there, I like going short. And again, you probably would have had a runner here. And then we bounce where at right off. And this actually broke lower. That's funny how that sets up right there. And I guarantee there's a bunch of people went short right there into that trend line, having no clue it's ever, it's even there. And then it bounces instantly and they wonder what the heck happened. Uh, you might even consider going long right there. With this being range like. Uh, because you may catch a major low and you would have you could have ridden this all the way up here back to the top off we go and there is a little bit of a reversal here but with when this stacked up with several bars uh, there is a lower high here but there's just too much stems that's too much sideways right into the ema um, that one's a if that wasn't an inside bar i'd say if it would have broke lower i'd said maybe yes but that's so close to two o'clock then i guess you end the two o'clock hour so um, that pretty much did it for the day. So yeah, even though it started a little slow, once we got this, uh, and, and what this is on a bigger picture is a spike and channel down. And, uh, hopefully you can see that you spike down and go into this flatter channel. This is just too steep and way too oversold. And that's why we got a nice little bounce here. And what'll happen sometimes is this thing will turn and go up and you'll end up with a range day. But the fact that we sold and went much further than the overnight lows i'd be leaning to where any you know if this thing came back anywhere from maybe 20 to 70 percent anywhere within that range uh from right in here to maybe right in here if it turns down i'd look for another leg and generally with this one being this steep the next one's not going to be so steep so um just remember that and what will happen is a lot of people will think this is a reversal, but when you get a when you get a move down that strong, you're probably going to get a correction because you're there's a, it's way oversold, but um, a lot of people are going to think it's reversed, and just by the time they get long, it's going to turn back down again. So, you know, don't get sucked into that. Be very careful. Make sure you have a really good setup going long. And what's this overshot right here? I've been very leery of trying to get long right in here because they may trap you. And that's what happens. They trap a bunch of people and then off it goes to the other side again. If you measure this, we didn't get anywhere close to that today. We came up pretty short. But that's not surprising because we, your channel is a little flatter and you just uh, prices bounce there perfectly every time. Pretty much bounced off of this one every time until after 2 o'clock there. So this was a nice easy to read channel pretty um, if you understand what's going on there and anytime you get a trend that steep early 
it's probably not going to last. You're going to get a little correction, and a lot of times the correction will just go sideways, or you may get a little move back up 50 to around 50% or maybe a little more. And if it's a real strong trend down like the day, you, you're probably only going to get 20, 25% correction like that. And then it, then you go into a flatter channel and it just keeps trending down. And sometimes you may see it, you may have the first channel coming down right here. And then the next one may be a little less steep. And then you get a third one that flattens out like this. So that you'll see that sometimes too. So just be aware of that. But, uh, just because it's, it starts to flatten out some or go sideways or even correct some, it doesn't mean the trend is over, especially when it's this steep and you just got your first break. Uh, all the way up here, you should have been thinking this thing's going to reverse and test this low at some point. And uh, it's just a matter of when. So not if, almost all. It's just, almost, it's just a matter of when, really, because that is a strong trend. And it's very rare that you'll reverse without testing the lows on a trend that strong it can happen because you know as I, you hear me say nothing is 100 percent in trading if it was you know we could just write programs to do all this stuff and and let them do it for us and we wouldn't have to even come on here and trade but uh, unfortunately it doesn't work like that and uh, uh, we can get get it to where we know what's going to happen 90 to 95 percent of the time but 100 percent it just doesn't happen in trading it's 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 not po it, it's impossible so for whatever reason it just doesn't happen so anyway i'm going to wrap it up we'll be back again to do it tomorrow and wrap up our week uh don't forget friday's uh, is good friday so there won't be any trading friday um i don't even think there's abbreviated trading on good friday i think they close they close down so um you won't be able to trade at all even if you wanted to come in and generally it's not worth it anyway you sit at your screen and just watch it go sideways like something like this right here most of the day and it's generally not worth your time anyway but you know if you're sim trading and you're off on that day and it, and there's some abbreviated trading you might sim trade or something just to see but it's my experience you, it's not even worth fooling with because you don't really get any setups either so um, anyway i'm gonna wrap it up we'll be back again and do it tomorrow to wrap up the week i'm done for today this is mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time